Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll have a look at alternatives for Windows Media Player on Windows 11. You can find some free and good solutions for playing media. Maybe you cannot play back a specific file with Windows Media Player. Later we will also see how to play YouTube videos and one of these, these players. We have Media Player from Windows opened. You already know it. The first one we want to have a look at is called Media Player Classic. I'm gonna close the Windows Media Player and open the Media Player Classic by double left clicking. And we already have the clip in the playlist. I'm gonna double left click to open it. As you can see, it's a simple program. It's very light. It's similar to Windows Media Player. So this is the first alternative you might consider going to. The downside is that the team that originally produced it stopped working on it in 2015. This means that you can find the standalone program on sourceforge.net, for example, which is a, a trusted source, and you can download it by left clicking on download over here. And if you want to have the latest version, which was updated in January, 2023 as we can see over here you need to go to codecguide.com and download and install the Klyte codec pack standard I don't know if other codec packs offer media player classic but this is the one I've been using and it has worked fine and you have the download links over here on the page the next player we want to have a look at is called VLC. We're going to close Media Player Classic and open VLC from our desktop by double left clicking. Again, it looks simple. We have the playback controls on the left over here. I'm going to left click and drag this video so we can see how it works. And we can see it's very similar to the other players, but it also offers a lot of advanced features. If we left click on media over here at the top, we can see that we that it's possible to open a lot of media types. So don't let this discourage you. It's also, also a benefit because at some point you might need to play back something and VLC will allow you to do that. They also mentioned that they open and play back almost everything, which is a good thing. It also has its own codex, so you don't need to install anything else. You can find it on videolan.org, as we can see on the top. And it has, they have a page called VLC Media Player where you can find a download button for it. They are both free software, which is great. The last player we want to mention is called BS Player Free. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And we have the playlist over here. I'm going to play back the clip of the C. What we notice immediately is that it's different in the fact that the window is detached from the controls. But this is probably something that you can do in the other players as well. BS Player is more commercial than the others. It has skins and if we look on their website, they also offer a paid version that offers some additional features. But in the free version, you can find everything you need for normal use. The website is also a bit complicated, so you need to find your way between the ads if you want to download and install the free version it can also not play back dvds in the free in the free version which is a, a major downside if that's what you want to use it for but it's great because it downloads subtitles automatically from the internet so if you're a fan of movies you can find a lot of subtitles in english at least but i'm sure it has in other languages as well I'm gonna minimize the window and like we promised you can also play back YouTube videos in BS Player which is a great feature. What you need to do is just right click 
and then left click here where it says open URL and then you can paste a YouTube link over here we saved two links for this presentation I'm gonna right click and copy it and then let's paste it over here and then left click on OK and it's gonna open a video from YouTube so we don't need to go to the to YouTube website this is great I believe for one major reason because you don't need to uh, see all the ads you won't be shown any ads while playing back like this and you can also create a playlist right click and left click then left click on playlist over here and you can right click and left click on add URL and right now we can play back a second video and we will have a small playlist with online videos from YouTube the downside is that in the free version you can only play the lowest resolution if you want to have the more high quality resolutions you will need to purchase the commercial version of BS player which is not so nice <laughs> but this is good for example if you have a child and you want to create a playlist for him and you don't want him to see a lot of uh, commercial and ads which can be very very unpleasant these days okay guys we hope this helps you Thank you for watching our video, subscribe for future tips.